Greetings from Lafayette Presbyterian Church on this Wednesday, the second, uh, after the second Sunday after Pentecost. Continue the story of uh, Israel in uh, Egypt from the 50th chapter of the book of Genesis. Joseph threw himself on his father and wept over him and kissed him. Then Joseph directed that the physicians in his service embalm his father Israel. So the physicians embalmed him, taking the full 40 days, that was the time required for embalming, and the Egyptians mourned for him 70 days. When the days of mourning had passed, Joseph said to Pharaoh's court, I have found favor in the eyes to speak to Pharaoh for me, Tell him, my father made me swear an oath and said, I am about to die. Bury me in the tomb that I dug for myself in the land of Canaan. Now let me go up and bury my father, then I will return. Pharaoh said, go and bury your father as he made you swear to do. So Joseph went up to bury his father. All of Pharaoh's physicians accompanied him the dignitaries of the court, and all the dignitaries of Egypt, beside all the members of Joseph's household and his brothers and those who belonged to his father's household. Only their children and their flocks and herds were left in Goshen. Chariots and horsemen also went up with him. It was a very large company. When they reached the threshing floor of Atad, near the Jordan. They lamented loudly and bitterly, and there Joseph observed a seven-day period of mourning for his father. When the Canaanites who lived there saw the mourning at the threshing floor of Atad, they said, the Egyptians are holding a solemn ceremony of mourning. This is why the place near the Jordan is called Mizaram. So Jacob's son did as he had commanded him. They carried him to the land of Canaan and buried him in the cave near the field of Machpelah near Marmai, which Abraham had brought uh, along with the field as a burial place from Ephraim the Hittite. After burying his father, Joseph returned to Egypt together with his brothers and all the others who had gone with him to the place of burial. When Joseph's brothers saw that their father was dead, they said, what if Joseph holds a grudge against us and pays us back for all the wrongs we did to him? So they sent word to Joseph saying, your father left these instructions before he died. This is what you were to say to Joseph. I ask you to forgive your brothers the sins and the wrongs they committed in treating you so badly. Now please forgive the sins of the servants of God, of your father. When, and when the message came to him, Joseph wept. While his brothers then came and threw themselves down before him, we are your slaves, they said. But Joseph said to them, don't be afraid. Am I in the place I am in the place of God intended. You intended harm to me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. So then don't be afraid. I will provide for you and for your children. And he reassured them and spoke kindly to them. Joseph stayed in Egypt along with his father's family he lived 110 years and saw the third generation of Ephraim's children and also children of Machir, the son of Manassas, who was placed at, the birth, at birth on Joseph's knees. Then Joseph said to his brothers, I'm about to die, but God will surely come to your aid and take you out of this land, the land to the land that he promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 
And Joseph made the Israelites swear an oath and said, God will surely come to your aid, and then you must carry my bones up from this place. So Joseph died at the age of 110, and after they embalmed him, he was placed in a coffin in Egypt. May the Lord add his blessing to the reading and the hearing of his holy word. Amen. Let us pray. Father, bless us in this day that seeking to do your will, we may find opportunity to testify to our relationship with Jesus, that we might be a comfort to this generation, that they might see the path of salvation and make haste to follow it. We pray that you will keep us well, that you will give us strength for your service, and you give us wisdom to accomplish that purpose in the, in the mission field that you've given to us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.